What's good everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today we cooking with me, A.V. Now you guys read the title, you seen the thumbnail, so you know what I'm making. I'm making a delicious meatloaf. Hey listen, the meatloaf is gonna be traditional, but I'm gonna just show you where I made just like a little couple of little tweaks to it. Hey, that right here is what's gonna send it over the edge, and you know what, my meat sauce. So, first thing we're gonna do is, we're getting ready to go ahead and preheat this oven. We're gonna go ahead and preheat it to, you know, 375 degrees. And now we're getting ready to break right into this video. Now, we finna go over the ingredients. This is all it is. Listen, this is just for the meatloaf itself. After we done it, get this done and get it put into the oven, then we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and make that, uh, that sauce. But I'm gonna start off by just, here we go. We'll start off with this. We got green bell pepper. Look, this is just a medium sized green pepper. You know, I diced it. And listen, I'm gonna show you like this. Look, you wanna get them, to, you wanna get them kind of fine. Reason being, cause I'm not gonna saute them. So listen, the smaller they are, the quicker they become soft, you know? So now we got breadcrumbs, which right here, Look, this is Progresso's. These are the garlic herb. I like these. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. You guys can buy, you know, like some flavored, uh, you can buy flavored crackers, you know, and just beat them up, get them down to breadcrumb size, and you can use those too. Now, we already talked about this. We talked about which is the best ketchup. This is my entry right here. Gotta have this Heinz. There you go. We got ketchup, minced garlic, now here's where we get a little tricky and this is where I start becoming a little fancy with it. We got salt and listen, we got that Creole kick. Now listen, for you guys that don't have Creole kick, which I suggest you guys get it because I cook with it a lot. And to be honest with you, I put it on almost everything, but you guys can use like an Italian seasonings of your own, whatever you have in your, uh, you know, your cover. Now, you're gonna see right here, I got two seasons in here. Look, that's black pepper and this right here is paprika. The difference is, listen, I hear people say that they can't really taste paprika, you know what I mean? Because uh, it really don't have no taste or whatever, they use it for color. Look, this is smoked paprika. I'll put a link, hey, you gotta get it. We gotta start cooking and broadening our horizon, folks. All right? Now, this is dried parsley. I suggest you guys go ahead and get yourself some fresh parsley. But listen, I'm too stubborn to put, you know, write everything down, or for me, put it into my phone. Didn't pick up no parsley, so I'm gonna have to use dried. Then we got two eggs right here. These are two large eggs. Right here, we got a third cup of whole milk. And I got them onions too. And again, listen, I cut them down so they fine, right? So that these are cooked and they'll soften up a little bit, you know, when they're inside the pan. All right, so you saw that. And again, this is everything for the meatloaf. And then I'm gonna be using this meatloaf pan right here. Not gonna use that. This is it, this is a five by nine. And you know what, let me go ahead and go. I don't have it out right now. Let me get it. I got two pounds of uh, two pounds of 85.15 ground beef. And here it is right here. You can see right there, 85.15. This is it right here. So let's go ahead, hurry up and throw this together and get it in the oven. Okay, get yourself a bowl, and then you wanna just go ahead. Only thing I tell you is I always start with my ground beef first. After that, in no particular order, we just gonna throw everything in the bowl. All right, one of the things I like about, you know, about a meatloaf is, it's almost like a crock pot recipe. You know what, cause what we gonna do is, you guys might be familiar with this term called dump and go. So, we're gonna put our onions in. You guys getting the point right now, huh? Dump and go. Bell peppers. Okay, and then we're gonna come with our parsley. And again, listen, if you guys can get fresh parsley, that's the best way, you know what I mean? Then you just come with the rest of your seasonings. And then right here, you can see I'm adding my minced garlic. You know what, get yourself a rubber spatula. You'll be easy on your glass, you know, and everything will just last longer without the scratches. And then after that, we're gonna come with the ketchup and then our two eggs. You know, if we make a meatloaf, we gonna have eggs. Hey, so real simple, put that in there. Now check this out, because I didn't use separate bowls, I was just cautious about how, you know, distributed the uh, the Creole the Creole kick and the salt. So I kind of like just spread that all the way, you know, throughout. And then I was thinking to myself, you know, just smelling the aroma, I was saying to myself, hey, you know what, why not put some W sauce in this also? So after adding the uh, breadcrumbs, you know, I'm thinking I gotta put these hands on this meat. So let's go ahead and get it in and we just gonna work it like it's dough. Now, you know I just spoke up on it. Hey, this is optional, but I'm gonna use it. Just use yourself about a tablespoonful. Now, 
listen it's, we just gonna put about a tablespoon on there it's really up to you you don't want to like overpower it with the w sauce you know what i mean so just a tablespoon and move on and then once we got that mixed up last but not least we just add the milk this right here is gonna be moist you guys hey this is gonna make for a killer i mean when i say killer i mean a killer meatloaf you can see how that how it just absorbs up in here it loosens up some of that w sauce and the rest of the uh ingredients just to ensure that it gets you know completely you know mixed up and then throughout listen you want your flavor to be in every bite now for me i'm gonna go ahead and use some of this uh non stick spray you know you guys can do non stick you can take a butter and grease it however you want to do it you don't need a whole lot you just want to make sure you get it everywhere but you don't want to pool it all up now our objective is to get this inside this so we can form our mold and then what you want to do is you just want to get it once you get it in here you don't want to pack it i mean listen you want to pack it but you don't want to pack it like where it's super tight you know what we just want to go ahead i'll just do it like this so you guys can see you know what i mean you want to make sure you don't have any uh no corners or whatever and then i'm gonna put it like a little design but not really a design but i'll show you in just one second all right so what i do is once i got it like this and it's in all four corners you know good now i'll take it like this i take my fingers and i just i give it like a little indentation only on the edges just like this i don't know if you guys can see that And you should have something like that. Now you want to put it in your preheated oven, which should be at 375 degrees. We're going to put that in for 45 minutes. Alexa, set a meatloaf timer for 45 minutes. Meatloaf timer, 45 minutes, starting now. All right, got the meatloaf in the oven. Now I'm getting ready to go ahead and make my meatloaf sauce. sauce. You know what, super simple. Look, all you're going to need yourself is a bowl. I say get yourself a whisk, whisk works the best. I got this little, uh, this rubber, you know, brush. This is what I'm gonna use to brush the uh, sauce on top of it. You know, and then we got a few ingredients. So now let me go ahead and get myself a spatula and then we'll move forward. All right. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is when we start our sauce is, we're gonna start off with, you know, pouring our ketchup. And that's three quarters cup of that Heinz. You know, we done already had that debate. You guys know where I stand. You know what, it's Heinz, the only way to go. We got one teaspoon and a half of white vinegar. We got two tablespoons. This is two tablespoons and a half of uh, brown sugar. Now I like to take my brown sugar and do this because you know, sometimes it comes, it depends if it's been out, it might have some lumps in it. And now I got a trio of seasonings for you right here. Listen, we got one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and then we got a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then here, I got my salt. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little pinch. That's about all we need right there. Now we take our whisk and you know, whisk it up, do our thing. Now, when it comes out of the oven, then we gonna coat it. Then we gonna go back into the oven for about another 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll leave it like this and then we'll wait for the meatloaf to be done. Okay, and then once you come out, at an hour, I mean, excuse me, once you come out at 45 minutes, this is what you should, you know, have right here. Now, you remember this? This is our meat sauce. This right here is what sends it over the top. So, just giving it another whirl. Okay, what you see in here, look, I started out using that little rubber uh, brush, but that wasn't working. So look, let me just keep it real. Go ahead and get yourself a spoon and then put your ketchup, you know, your sauce on top of that. And probably if I wasn't filming, I just would have poured it on top. Now, this is what it looks like, you know, once it's done, then we're gonna put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Now, here we go. I checked it at 15 minutes and I decided to let it get another, you know, three minutes. So a total of 18 minutes, you know, for me to get it to weigh, you know, weigh my, uh, my top looks just like this. Now we're gonna let it rest for about 10 to 12 minutes. And after that, we're gonna plate it and then we're gonna slice it. Okay, got it brushed all over. Look, I'm taking a bread knife. I just like it for, I like to use a knife when I do these, you know, something that's serrated, you know? So then I take it, let's see. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a fork. You know, just so that it doesn't move. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut ourselves one. You know, just take your time. Oh, it's nice and moist. Oh yeah. This right here would be that million dollar cut. This is what you guys wanna see right here. This should make you guys run out there and go get it. That right there, look, you can see it's still moist. Look, that's it. So I'm gonna cut one more slice. Now, if you ask me how many people do I think that this will uh, serve, I'm gonna say six just to be, you know, just to be safe. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that, you guys. Let's go ahead and just cut one more. But it'll probably do eight. You know what I mean? It depends on how big the appetites are at the uh, table. So here you go, folks. You know what I mean? Look, staying together is nice and firm, but I'm really not using no pressure at all. Look at this. Oh, yeah. And that right there is what I'm talking about. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. You know what? Just put my own little spin on an old tradition. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, and the most important thing I gotta say is, listen, if you never even gave this no thought, this meal can be made, well, I'm not gonna say the whole meal, but you can make a meatloaf between $10 and $12. You can't beat that. Hey, so I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, hey, what would you serve this with? Cause I'm getting ready to put on some, uh, where is it at right now? Hey, check it out. I got myself a, got myself a bag of potatoes. I'm getting ready to make me some garlic herb mashed potatoes, and I'm gonna make me some uh, peas. I'm gonna go old school, traditional, traditional, and I'm not gonna change nothing. But again, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys are gonna make it with, and uh, hey, I'm gonna read them and then I'm gonna get back to you. So if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel. You know what? Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, and with that being said, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.